Hello YouTube! Welcome to Double Catbot's account. Now this is an account that's going to be very unique and interesting because we're going to test the theory. Is Jara a good first Transcendence hero? We have, before your very eyes, a Tree of Origin level 2 starring Jara. Crazy, I know. Her active skill is double sublime to have both pure sublimation, which gives her control precision increases by 15%, and deep sublimation, which improves the range within which she petrifies and freezes opponents. This means her active skill is going to be absolutely gnarly, and is probably the only reason I would encourage you to go ahead and build a starring jar. Actually, that's that's a total lie. The big thing that makes Jara nuts is the core of origin, right? The crazy active skill is cute and all, but no, it's 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 the core of origin. When an ally releases an active skill, there is a 20% chance to restore 30 energy and an additional 30% chance to restore an extra 30 energy and then a 10% chance to CC an opponent. So we have energy feed and we have crowd control. Really nice combinations. Also, when an ally does a basic attack, they have a chance to heal and they also have a chance to freeze. So tons of CC dishing out to the opponents and it should be a fun little time. As well as with the energy feed, we're up for something quite fun. In addition, we have Holmes Jung, we have Eloise, we have Tix, we have Ithaqua, and we have Carrie. It's an interesting selection of heroes, and Ithaqua's just not going to make the cut. I'm sorry, Ithaqua's not going to be our hero. It's going to be Ignis. Ignis will come in and give control protection to Eloise. Eloise, as always for an early account, is going to be our powerhouse. She is awakened to beat here, which is super spicy. I assume it's because this is an awakening event right now, and that probably means you high rolled this, or you're a filthy spender, and you bought it in the marketplace. I would look at your previous auction transactions, but I don't want to out you, so let's just assume you high rolled. And oh, you did high roll! Double cap bot, there we go. Thank you for saying that in chat. Well done, very nice. Now, looking at this, it's uh, attack HP, good. Golden Crown Splendid, nice. And we're very HP orientated. I I'm into this. You know what? A nice HP based account seems good. We got Control Purify on the LOEs. Not my first choice, in all fairness. Let's go see what your Void team's going to be. Oh, um, ah, okay, okay, okay. We'll just go with them built normally. I assume you don't have any flags floating around anyway. Mm, you might do. You genuinely. No, no, okay. Never mind. Right, let's go double check everyone's good. So we have a home Jung who has, oh boy, HP, HP. And wait, wait a minute. That's a backup stone? What the hell? You've got so much dust and so much gold and you stopped? Bro. Cat, what, what happened? Tix doesn't even have a stone. Ah, what are you doing? Carrie doesn't even, no. No! What is this? Did you just forget to make your account good? What's what's going on? I, I Tix and Carrier from the anniversary, you haven't done them? Well, we can't test if this works if you haven't done them. Uh blah 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 blah. Anniversary was a week ago, if not longer. Right, okay, okay. I'm giving them stones. I'm sorry. You've got so much gold and dust. They need stones. Then again, we need gold next week, right? Oh, cock. I'll give them something, though. Let's get them celestial somewhere, right? Uh, uh, I know. Uh, attack, attack. I I'll leave it there. The purple three. We can pretend. Look, it's it's a hexagon and there's a three. That's that's the same, right? See, it's basically the same stone, right? Let's go to Carrie now. Let's give her another soul stone three. Wink, wink. Right? Yes. See, chat agrees. This is completely fine. Oh, look, the hexagon's back. Attack precision and... Oh, HP, HP. See, look. High rolls. High rolls, guys. <laughs> so fortunate. Right, and um, yeah, it's going to be Eloise that's doing the important stuff here, so it doesn't really matter. Attack HP on her should be fun. And then Tick should be doing an active skill. Good. He has a demon bell. Uh, so he's going to be doing things. Silence, horrifying stuff. Home Jung also should be a fun hero with his energy. He's going to be petrifying opponents. That'll be very good. And we're also looking at, I think, a demon bell on carry as well. Yeah. So we got three splendid demon bells. We have a splendid crown on the Eloise, and we have a jar with a splendid receptor. So immediately, you've clicked on this video and gone, right, I'm a free-to-play player. Should I do Jara as my first Transcendence hero? Well, this test is going to be for whales. I'm so sorry, but obviously 
obviously your curiosity has the better of you so you want to see if this works and home jung looks like your dad dufkin does your dad just transform and go super hulk mode because if he does i want your dad to be my dad and i'm gonna call him never mind um right let's uh let's take a look at this we have okay okay light and shadow yeah we're doing defy by the way see if a defy push is possible with a jar I'm going to see if we've got Transcendence and Shadow Protection. They're going to be the big two we want. These have got Transcendence. That's got Transcendence. Okay, so there's Shadow or Transcendence floating around. Let's kick this off. Let's see how this goes. Could be amazing. Could be terrible. I'm ready to find out. So, ticks, home Jung, all that stuff. And then we got the Ignis Plopper there. Do all this. Ignis, I'll put it the... Uh, yeah, put it in slot two. Jara, carry. Do it like that. Home Jung, there we go. Put in the Phoenix. And we need to activate Jara's core. Now, this core should CC opponents. If it doesn't, well, we tried. And let's see if we get some CC coming out here. Um, no. This is, this is, this is unfortunate. Oh, we do have some CC. Amon Ra got CC'd. Ignis is dead. Oh, Jara got CC'd. Well, that's just dingus. Okay, Eloise is living though. I think Eloise on her own should do the first stages of Defy just fine. So we don't have to worry too much about this. Lovely doves there from Holmes Young. Now, one concern people have had is, is all this CC counter synergistic with Eloise? Um, it should be able to keep your jar alive. So it's technically not that bad. And um, you can clean up with your other heroes. And obviously trickle feeding enemies to attack you is still fine. Because um, these fights, I believe, go on beyond round 15. So it shouldn't matter too much. Also, come on, guys. These fights are going to get ended pretty sooner than that. Now, we don't have Transcendence Protection. That could be a problem. I might need to go find Transcendence Protection and Shadow Protection. So that was our first test. Jara died. Let's go against this one that has Transcendence Protection and see what happens here. And yeah, we didn't get any CC from Holmes. You got to bear in mind, this account is actually rather young. So our star spawns aren't great. In fact, I will go ahead and show you how not great these star spawns are, and it should provide context. Now, here's the other annoying thing, right? We don't have shadow protection on this, so now Eloise is having a tough time. Good CC there from Jara, though. So actually, the CC should actually work to keep Eloise alive. So maybe Transcendence Protection is more important here than Shadow Protection. That remains to be seen, of course. Um, Jara's still doing nicely. This also could be a terrible failed test and not work at all. Um, one concern is just how long these fights are going to go on for. <laughs> Eloise plus CC Lockdown equals long fights. And the Starring Jara is too fast. Yes. Yeah. But there's no way of speeding up the other heroes because we can't void and print them. And okay. So we died because we didn't have shadow protection. Okay. That's that's insightful. So now I want to see how does Transcendence Protection plus Shadow Protection work here. Just to see if it works. We'll go with this one. Transcendence Protection first time. Excellent. All right. Let's give it a go. Okay, CC coming out there on Aspen. Dove's coming out there from Holmes. Tick's doing an active. I really want to slow this Holmes down. I have a feeling he's too quick. It would be nice if he was slower. Also, I have a bad feeling that the fact that the other guys are just a little on the weak side, it's going to be hard for them to stay alive. Like, as you can see, they, they are dead. Um, Carrie has glitched. Uh, so, yeah, she's gone. Oh, she's back again. That's weird. Oh, man, come on. I don't think we can actually take down Garuda here unless we CC her. This is going to be a tough one. It's all now on Eloise to deal with this, but I have a bad feeling. Yeah, the healing curse got the better of us. So this might just not work. Interesting. So Ignis is dead. That's good. CC is coming out. We've locked down that Garuda. CC is looking good here. It might just be a matter of high rolling CC. That's often the case with these things. It seems weird to say that in Defire, though. It's a very strange strategy. Because when they're locked down, there's less people hitting Eloise. But it's not necessarily a bad thing. Although it does give that Garuda more time to break free, which is a little annoying. I don't know, man. I actually feel like I'd just rather Vessa here. You ever get those feels? Like, obviously, the core on Jara is nuts. Although it might it might still work. See, I'm starting to feel confident now. We're starting to get some good progress here. It is just this Garuda. We need to be able to CC her. It might be wrong to run all this energy feed. You might want to put a crown on the homes if you've got one spare. 
Just so he's got a better chance of living. Okay, we got some CC coming out there. That's nice. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Garuda's going to get energy stolen by the carry. So the fact that carry's staying alive here is really helpful as well. Oh, yeah. We should have this. That opposing carry has now CC'd herself. It just comes down to how long this fight's going to take. <laughs> now, we said this straight up. This is going to take a while because you are playing CC lockdown with no major damage dealer because Eloise's damage comes from counterattacks. And obviously, if they're CC'd, they're not hitting you. So no counterattacks. But this is... It kind of works. That wasn't terrible. Eloise still doing the most damage. Jara doing a good chunk of damage as well. Fun. All right, that's our first victory. Let's go ahead and I think we need Transcendence and Shadow Protection on every wave. That might be the thing that gets us. So we'll try again here. We'll get Shadow Protection if we're lucky. And oh man, we might get screwed on Signets. No joke. Oh, that was really unlucky. Shadow being the last one there. That was bad. And you need a second receptor for the home jung. Most likely, yeah. You may not, though, right? There's so much CC coming from here that actually it might be better to run someone that offers a bit more bite than home jung. Like, you, you could argue the Ithaqua could work here, um, like, as a damage dealer, just to try and mince down opponents. Actually, that's not a terrible idea. Should we put in Ithaqua instead of the home jung to see what happens? Just get a bit more bite from the team? Because then she could start cleaning up whilst we CC opponents. Hmm. I don't dislike that idea. She'd be like a mini sword flash. Eloise is putting in work here, though. The one thing I'm worried about is this Garuda, although she did get energy stolen. But we also died there. That was unfortunate. Yuck. I don't know whether to take out Carrie or Holmes Young here. I, both I, I don't mind getting rid of. It could even be Ticks. I think Carrie as this weaker hero might be the takeout. And we'll just see how this performs. Because hmm. not having the energy steal might suck. But at the same time, if Ithaca was able to clean up, that'll be clutch. Although your attack HP on Ithaca, not crit crit attack. I didn't check your backup stones. If you've got crit crit attack... That'd be very helpful, because there is no Rogan here, right? So we don't get that benefit or luxury. There's also no Drake. So a lot of the synergy that comes into play for Assassins is just non-existent on this account. Yeah, so that Ithaqua did nothing. She might as well have been a fart in the breeze. Uh, it's, it's definitely not her. We're going to be running Holmes. 100%. Yep. So that is a shame. Holmes and carry, for sure. So yeah, Ithaqua's a no-go. We'd need Rogan and Drake to make the most out of her. So really, we just got to try and high roll with this. Of all the heroes to be low level, I don't actually mind the carry being low level too much because of a resurrection. So that should be fine. And oh, disgusting, man. Will Eloise actually be able to clean this? I don't think she will. I think we're going to get wrecked. I want to put Mark Purify on Eloise. I think she's got Control Purify for some reason. And I didn't switch that, although that was on my brains to do list. So I will put that in. Um, just because it's obviously better. Because if she gets control immunity from the Ignis, there's no point having control purify because, well, there's no point. All right, let's carry on. All right, good CC there. Can we get any more? Didn't get any doves. Now, this is just a naturally disgusting wave, although I don't want to be, like, heavily resetting opponents into fire six. If we can't do this... We can't do this. Now, that Garuda not getting CC'd is just unfortunate. She did get energy stolen by carry, though. That's really helpful. So any way we can buy ourselves more rounds, very important. So let's try that one again. Come on, guys. CC the Garuda. Oh, Holmes, you're so bad. Honestly, Holmes without a Receptor or the Mage Star Spawn is abysmally painful. Oh, man, this is going to be tough. Carry clutching it in. Come on, Garuda. Please die. Or please just get CC'd. Nope, there's the active. So, yeah, big observations here. Jara isn't cutting it because we're able to CC opponents. That's great. But we don't have anyone to actually kill here. And that's our biggest weakness. So when you're using someone like Vesa, you're gaining shields, you're gaining healing. 
And the thing we wanted to test here was, can, can you actually CC opponents into brute forcing a victory? And in theory, it's a fantastic idea. But the problem is, if a Garuda slips the net at any point, you lose, right? You, you straight up lose. And so no matter how powerful you make this team, it's, it's going to suck. Because unfortunately, we don't quite have the right things in play to be able to kill these opponents. Now, you could argue that our tenants are bad. Uh, they are, right? Let's be real. We don't have max stones. The carry is only level 250. This is not perfect. Now, we could come back and try this when it is perfect. I would actually probably want to strongly encourage us to go ahead and do that. Um, but right now, it's not cutting it. Fact. Right? It's, it's, a, it's a tough time. And yeah, we can reset to find easy ways, but we'd be wasting gems. And with a gem event coming up next week, uh, not a good plan. So I think we're just going to have to hold and um, come back later. Any heroes that might be better? Level up the ones you've got. Give them good stones, right? Making them better is, is just fact one. Also imprints. But even just fighting a humble wave like this, which I know it's two carries. I know it's annoying. I know there's Amon Ra. I know there's Aspen. It's not a pleasant wave. Um, it, it's... It's Defy a 6, though. And obviously, Fairy Queen Vessa is, is the addition, but that, that ruins the whole point of this testing, right? If we, if we throw in Fairy Queen Vessa, then the whole point of testing whether Jar is a good first transcendence is, is moot, right? What's, what's the point, right? There, there isn't one. It's like, oh, okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, considering transcendence heroes is not going not gonna to make a difference, unfortunately. Uh, no, this is struggling at the top of the fire. Not even near the bottom. Yeah. Uh, I assume you mean the other way around, right, Dank? We're in Defire 6. So, yeah, we are having a tough time. And it, it shouldn't be this hard. So, yeah, conclusions we can make from this is... Jara is awesome. The CC she's doing is fantastic. But without someone to clean up, we really struggle. Like, if you've seen people pushing in the Void Vortex before, there's always someone doing the damaging. Right, whether it's an Eos or it's a Vessa or it's a Sword Flash, there's someone there to go ahead and deal a ton of damage. Eloise, you would think, would be the damage dealer here, but because of the CC that Jar is doing, we're getting less counterattacks from Eloise. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, it means the fight goes on longer, but due to the nature of a lot of Vortex fights, Garuda slips the net, she hits us, we die. Now, Carrie's energy steal is going to be very important to stop that from happening, but it gets to a point where you're just watching a fight churn out, churn out, churn out, churn out. You really don't have a win condition, right? You're CCing opponents, and they have so much health that they will just break free. And there's a lot of passive damage coming out here, whether it's from Healing Curse, whether it's from Ada's end of round damage, that it can stack up quick. Opposing carries can mark you, steal your energy as well. So, yeah, it's a fun account. It's a fun strap. I'm sure it's going to work in many other good uh, game modes. But the real test as to whether this can work well is does it clear to fire? So far, the answer is no. But are we at all optimal? Can't even say yes to that. So if we made this more optimal, came back, took a deeper look, the answer may still be no, but it could work. So, yeah, that was fun but I feel unsuccessful. Although, double cap bot, thank you for letting us do that. Um, let's go test some of the game modes, bots are here. Um, what can we play? Void campaign? Do you reckon we got some good stuff here? Ah, the problem is you're just going to throw in a jar on our own. You're not going to win, right? The core's great when you've got other heroes to synergize with it. Hmm. Actually, let's see how we do in the Realms Gate. What void corruption are we at? We're at 62? Uh, I don't feel like that's going to be telling enough because even at 62, like Eloise just void four with good tenants on her own should do well enough. So I don't know if this is enough to unlock anything unknown. Now, I will just try this to see if it works. If it doesn't work here, I'm going to be really upset. But uh, we'll, we'll see. This might work still. Okay, we get some dubs, we get some CC. Energy steals out. Okay, Ignis is dead. That's good. So, yeah, the, the strat still works. Oh, wow. Okay, so straight up, Jar is doing fine things here. You don't even need the LOEs. That damage was nuts. I think that just comes into the fact that she's Tree of Origin level 2. Now, for me to really test this, you, you'll have to be at Void Corruption level 100. But 
you're not. So I can't really see how this is going to perform in the deeper times. But you know what? We, we, we've definitely learned things. Um, Void Vortex is a struggle. You're going to need better heroes and better optimized things, double cap. But with what you've currently got, it's, uh, it's not as optimized as it could be. Also, you look at all this stuff you've regressed. Like, this is three different factions you've gone switchy swapped and things. I don't want to know what kind of twitchy fingered switcheroo happened, but it's uh, it's probably been not the best. Because um, that you, you do naturally hemorrhage, hemorrhage resources over time. Also, you have so many five stars. Holy cow. Catbot. That's, uh, you weren't kidding when you said you could build whoever the heck you wanted. Also, how are you doing for soul symbols? Like soul awaken 080? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Golden spirit really is holding you back, huh? Crazy. Um, but yeah. Um, hopefully we can come back to this and take a deeper look when our team's a little tighter. But for now, I don't think it's going to work out. Probably more void imprints are needed. And as I said earlier, without a damage dealer, I don't think Jara is going to have the funnest of times in the Void Vortex. If you want to catch more content like this, where we take a look at strange theories and strats, or just I tell you how to play the game good and stuff, join us here at twitch.tv forward slash mkxjump, or of course, hit that subscribe button for more YouTube content. Until next time, guys, thanks for tuning in and happy idling.